like to dedicate the next song to all the people in the house who know the meaning of the more you give is the more you receive. You know, for a long time, I didn't understand what that meant. I used to think that the more money you give is the more money you receive. And I tried it for a while, and I ended up broke. So I figured out that, that, that wasn't it. But this year, since January the 2nd, we've been to 46 states. And we've not only done concerts, we've also played um, at community centers, foster centers for kids who have been separated from their families. I've personally spoken at prisons and churches and centers for the elderly. And I think I've got it now. Because there's a certain feeling that you get when you do something for somebody without accepting or in, ex, without expecting anything in return. There's a certain feeling. And no money, you can't put a price on that feeling when, when you make somebody who's sad smile. When you make somebody who's been separated from their families because of abuse or alcoholism or drug abuse and you make that young person have a little hope and feel loved and feel some happiness. And, you know, I just hope that more and more people will try their best to do things for other people in their communities because when we do small things for people in our community, that energy branches out into our society and eventually throughout the whole country. And if America can set the example, we, we don't need to send soldiers to other countries. All we need to do is get our act right, right here. Let's get our own country together and then we can set an example for other people. And when we get our economy right, we'll have enough money to help the poor nations and feed those hungry people. I'm just hoping and praying that there's enough progressive thinking young people in America that will move those old people out of their positions and make some positive changes in this country. Because I do believe this country has the responsibility for the planet right now. But not with weapons. Not with weapons, with progressive thinking and actions. This song I'd like to do for you is a brand new song also from my new album. It's called Service. And I'd like to dedicate it to all the people out there who like to do things for people who are less fortunate than themselves. Yes, we do. Some say nothing is sweeter than love's first kiss. Or oh, getting high till you reach the sky and a cloud of bliss. But as I reflect upon my life, then I reminisce, I can't dismiss, then I get a thrill from loving service. That is why I'm gonna learn to love and I'm gonna love to serve Cause as I serve my brothers and sisters I am serving the Father
album Destination Paradise obviously refers to a you know um, a, your rancher book. Um, I, that's what I was kind of seeing yes. some of your messages. I know you're an advocate for the for the. Um, I wouldn't really know if I'd call it a religion. It's more of like a teachings. kind of a thoughts and teachings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So um, it was it was interesting. Yeah, I've been you know like. Uh, last few weeks when you, you know, I was, I was like revisiting a lot of your music and I've been listening to the words of Christ a lot. Yes. And, um, I, you know, the way that that, that you just kind of deliver that message of, of Christ is very uh -huh. interesting. Yes. Um, and in line with, you know, the, the Urantia teachings. Yes. Of, of what actually, you know, what Christ was. And, yes. and because the, the Bible as we're taught it really only like talks about what, like maybe a small percentage very, of Very, very, very small percentage. Yeah. Very small percentage. And um, his actual teachings, uh, I guess because it was based on memory, you know, his followers didn't have recorders at the time, so they based a lot of it on memory. A lot of what he said, you know, wasn't captured. And um, with the Urantia book, which is supposed to be written by angelic beings and beings who were actually on the scene 2,000 years ago, yeah. you know, they recorded everything that was said and, yeah. and, and represented it again in the Urantia book. And there's many years of Christ's life that is missing as well from the scriptures. So now we have the Urantia book, every single year of Christ's life is available to us. So, you know, it's a great tool, you know, yeah. for, for learning. Yeah. It was, it was interesting as, as, as Christ as the embodiment of, of another, of a celestial being, of the, of the Father mm -hmm. or of the, like, I mean, as I've been, like, reading up on it, it's, you know, like, I would say a year ago when you were in town, like the first time you brought it up and as, as an alien, you know, I don't even think you went into it in really too much detail because uh -huh. it's, it's, it's language that's kind of hard <laughs> for people that first, like yeah. the stomach, to think of, okay, we are, you know, visited and assisted by, you know, alien yes. forces that, not necessarily forces, but not beings, more like spirit forces yes. that are assisting us and that love us and want us to do well, etc. Yes. And, um, and it, it, it's a little bit scary for us to first kind of take that in. And, yes. then, and then once, but we have to look at like, okay, well, what is this doctrine that's been given to us as far as the New Testament and where that is and where its shortcomings are. So then we can look at other alternatives and say, well, we know that that's not quite right, yes. you know? So, so like, let's see what else is in there and yes. see what, what else goes back and see why certain things have been denied. Yes. So, as somebody who's, who's read through through this, I'm sure like studied the life of Christ. Like, what do you think of his like travels to Egypt and how that tied in with you know like his kind of creation, so to speak, as a Messiah? Um, I think it's very interesting, especially when you consider all the mysteries surrounding Egypt, mm -hmm. you know, and and how all of this advanced building and architecture and technology yeah. Yeah. appeared on the scene at a certain time. Mm -hmm in the history of man, you know, I, I, I think it's very, very interesting. I think it's, um, I think it's good to know, you know, where he traveled uh -huh. and, and, and what he did on his travel, yeah, you know, yeah. and from, from what I can see, his entire life was about just planting seeds mm -hmm. of truth, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and not too advanced, but just enough you know, to take people to the next level of their understanding. Right. You know, so they can continue with their journey. Life is a struggle, but we never give in. Never give in. Never give in. You know, 